I am so happy. I'm in the kitchen by myself with a beautiful piece of beef. And I'm going to show you how you can cook the perfect roast beef. Now, the trick is to brown off your meat on the outside in a pan with just a tiny bit of oil. Listen to that sound, that sizzle, that searing. Really, really important. Make sure you season your meat. Salt loves meat, meat loves salt. If you don't season the outside of this, it won't taste anywhere near as good. Now, the next thing is to bring it out of the fridge and let it warm up to room temperature so that when it cooks, it cooks nice and evenly. Now, this is browned off beautifully. You can see that fat's rendered down. It's been tied up, so it will hold it all in place. So we're ready to go. Now, I'll take it out of the pan here and pop it onto my rack. That will help to circulate the heat all around it. And all the juices and fat that comes off the beef will be soaked up by these beautiful potatoes and onions underneath. Now, I like my beef on the rarer side. And the way that I control that and I'm accurate with is I use this probe that fits into the oven. I grab the tip of the probe here and I pop it into the middle part of the beef. I plug this end here into the oven and it automatically knows I've got a probe. And then I'll set the temperature of the probe to 48 degrees Celsius. That's the perfect cooking for me. And then let the oven do all of the work. How easy is that? The beef is perfectly cooked. And that's a great thing about using a probe. As soon as you get to the right temperature, the oven shuts off so it's not overcooked. Now, I've also rested this beef for about half the cooking time. That allows all the muscle fibers to relax. So when you cut into the beef, it stays nice and juicy and you don't lose all of those juices. The other pro tip is, of course, to cut that string off. Now, once you've got the string off, it's nice and easy to pull apart. Now, I always rest the beef, and that's a really important thing, but some people worry about it going cold. Well, the inside's nice and warm, and if you're worried about it being too cold, you just pop it back into the oven for five minutes, flash some heat into it, and it's good to serve. Now, I'll show you what this beef is like. I've got the fork in there, and it's just a matter of carving it all the way through. Nice and medium rare. Now, the trick is, the first couple of slices, the end pieces, you give them to Nana because she likes her meat cooked more. The middle pieces here will be nice and rare, just the way I like it. I'll cut a couple of slices off this to show you what I mean. Nice and juicy. And because I rested my beef, there's no juices on the board here. All the juices are in the meat. That is really, really important. Now I'll grab a couple of these pieces here and pop them on the plate. Oh, a little bit of salt on the top there and it's good to go. You don't need gravy, you don't need sauces, you don't need vegetables, you just need roast beef. Roast beef cooked to perfection, nothing better.